Yo, what's up, guys? This is Sean Shrok bringing you another video on GTA Online. For this video, I will be giving you a tour of all the cars I own in GTA. So, for the sake of this video, I parked all my cars in the Maze Bank garage, except for weaponized cars. Those are parked in my facility, and the arena cars are, of course, in the arena. So, let's get started. Right now, I'm in my Maze Bank tower. This is the tallest building in GTA Online. But actually, to be honest, I really wanted the arcade is business center which you see right below as a garage is more accessible and you know it is a bit more better anyways the interior i chose for the office is old spice if anyone is wondering and yes of course i look good so let's go to my garage one my first garage is basically based on mclaren's each garage floor is dedicated to a particular brand like so there are total of three garages and each garage has three sections a b and c so for the first garage garage 1a is basically based on mclaren so let's see yeah so the first car which you see up front is a progen emiris is based on the mclaren senna and i love the paint job and the livery on this car the handling and top speed on this car is truly amazing it is actually the, one of the top five cars in gta online and actually it's a bit pricey it's for 2.75 million but it is worth it the interiors itself also is actually quite amazing it with the black finish it looks intimidating i would say and the next car is the progen tires the progen tires is based on the mclaren f1 gtr it is a legendary car the vocals of this car is amazing this is one of my favorite cars to cruise around in los santos by the way this was for 2.55 million the interiors also is quite impactful it's like it's like a beach inside the sound also is amazing i don't know it's just overall a very good car i can't get over how amazing this car is so the next car is the progen t20 and is based on the mclaren p1 this car is not that great in races i mean it is good but cannot compete with the cars like kriga and emrys this was one of the best cars back in the day before Krieger and Emrys came out. So the spoil of this car is quite amazing by the way. It comes out at higher speeds. The interior is okay -ish. It's not something very fascinating. It's a bit humble I would say. But other than that the color and everything else is good. The next car is the Progen T20 based on the McLaren P1. Oh, I'm sorry, it's, the next car is Progen GP1. This is an iconic car based on the McLaren F1. I mean, there's nothing to say. It's like a legendary car, period. It is one of the best cars ever made in IRL, that is in real life. It is a really, really good car. The color also is quite amazing and the details on it is marvelous. The next car is the Progen Italy GTB and this is based on the mclaren 570s it is more of a garage queen to be honest i never took this car maybe once or twice the color is also quite good the paint job the interior again is quite humble the mclaren's in these in the mclaren's in gta online the interiors are quite humble they're not way to blink or uh, let's say more to it and the car over here is my first car ever owned in gta online that is the banshee this car is just amazing like back in gta 4 i remember this car like this was one of my favorite cars even in gta 4 and this is basically based on the dodge viper i took it took me a long while to uh, get over this car to be honest i should this was my daily driver back in the day then after that you know more cars i came out to like in liking of more cars i would say so as you see right now is day time i guess by the time this video ends will be night and you can actually get an entire view of los santos from this tower so the theme for garage 1b is ferrari the first car which you see outside is the italy gto which is based on the ferrari 812 and the design of this car is truly spectacular the interiors everything is amazing the handling and the top speed is on mark and is the best car in the sports class according to me the tail lights also are just amazing inside look at the interiors with the red and gray finish i like the inter interiors of the uh, grotis in this the grotis are basically the ferraris in gta online it's just amazing and the mclaren's are progen to be honest and uh, i don't know what to say it means i used to this was my daily driver like i think a month back 
I don't drive this much anymore. The daily driver right now is obviously the oppressor mark to <laughs> everyone uses the oppressors nowadays. So the next car you see is the Groti GT500 and is based on the Ferrari 250 GT Berlinetta Classic. It is a classic car I would say. I take it out during car meets other than that it's a garage queen. I mean people freak out in car meets wondering which car is this. Because in the legendary shop, legendary auto motor shop, people don't actually think of purchasing this car. It is more like a garage queen and it's like a collector's car. The interiors are again quite humble, not too way out there. So the next car is the Groti Cheetah Classic and it is based on the Ferrari Testarossa. I mean it is red and fun, it looks nice and it's a classic car. Other than that, it's a garage queen again. I don't use it much, maybe once or twice in races to actually see if it could do any better. But other than that, I mean, again, the interiors are quite humble, nothing too way out there. Now, I don't know why, if you see from my window over here, I don't know why I kept the Pegasi Torero over there because it's actually a Lamborghini car. It is based on the Lamborghini, Lamborghini Countach timeless design, not sure why it is still here. I actually had to park it with the Lambos in the next, I think yeah, the Lambos are in the next ones. In the next garage itself, in 2A might be, I'm not sure. But yeah, I mean it's a nice car, I want it on the podium. Not to complain much because it was free, it is one of the fastest in the classic class. Other than that, it's a quite, it's a quite nice car. It, I don't know why I made it white, but it is white what it is. The next car is the next car is the groti turismo r and it is based on the la ferrari the vocals and the design are beautiful but overall performance is okay so you know you can't use it much in races drake owns one of drake owns la ferrari i mean that's amazing the interiors also are quite amazing this was one of the supercars or hypercars which i own i'm not sure it's a super or hyper but it is one of the nicer cars which i own like the first ones well, the first one was always a banshee then i purchased the groti turismo r which is a la ferrari i have it both in red and white so they i was not sure which color like was better so i purchased both as you see the interiors are not that different it's the same thing actually inside both only the paint job is uh, different most of the cars in uh, GTA, except the Benny cars, they you can't edit the interiors. Means I mean you can edit most of the cars, but whatever. Uh, this was 1B. Now let's go to 1C. The theme for 1C is kind of mixed. It is Mercs, Porsche, and Corvettes. Uh, I actually I came down accidentally and wanted to go on top. So here I'm going back on top. So here in one see the it's mix of both Mercs, Porsche and Corvette. The first car which you see outside is the Benefactor BR8 based on the Red Bull RB7. It is the best open wheel car in the game. It does not it does the best lap time and proven to be the better performance. It has a better performance than any other Formula One cars in the game. I mean it's the best car. The next car you see is the Benefactor Krieger based on the Mercedes AMG one. It is a beast in races. If you want to win races, this is the car which you want. Handling, performance, speed, everything is spot on. It is Matt Skull's favorite car to be honest. And it is fun overall. I mean, you can win races in this car. It's a beast. The interiors, everything is spot on. The workers of the car, amazing. It's just one of those cars which you need to own. The next car is the Benefactor Shafter V12 based on the Brabus e EV12 sedan. It is the fastest car in, in the sedan class. The vocals of this car is aggressive. The looks is spot on. It's more like a mafia car. I feel actually. The interiors are amazing. And there's an armored version of this car also. I didn't purchase that one. I purchased only the sports one. Uh, it is fun. And the next car is a Pifster Comet Retro Custom based on the 1975-1977 Porsche 911s. It is a Benny's car, the sound, interiors and the bodywork are just amazing. As you see the paint job, it's a bit electric blue. The interiors also are amazing. It's, uh, I mean you can customize all of this. I customize it to be more of a 
कंपटेटिव का देन यू नो लाइक स्पोर्ट्स क्लासिक और कैजुअल का इट्स मोर ऑफ इन द कॉम्पिटिशन फील लाइक आई टेक इट आउट रेसिंग और क्रूजिंग अलॉल लॉस सेंटोस I mean the design, the color, and then the paint job. I'm, I'm saying again and again, color. I mean the paint job is amazing. The next car is the Pifster 811, based on the Porsche 918. This is this and Paraya compete in the fastest cars in GT5. The design of this car is kind of weird. I mean, look at the exhaust. Like, wouldn't the spoiler just burn off with the heat of the exhaust? I'm not sure. Like, how does that work? But uh, I mean, this car is fast. It's like if you. If you're out of money or something, this is one of the cheaper cars. It is within 1.5 million, I think. It's good to own this car, and this one is one of my favorites. Inverto Corvic or Corkett D10 based on the Corvette C8. It came out with a summer update, and I personally love the design of this car. I mean, just look at it. It's amazing. The overall performance is good. I mean, I cannot compete with the. It cannot compete with the top cars like the Paraya and other. other kind of cars but this like look at the interior is just amazing with the roofless design the wheels everything is just amazing like i don't know i just like this car i like to cruise around it i was that was like my daily uh, for this month and the next car you see is the inverto corkit classic based on the corvette c2 i took i took the roof out i mean it was more like fun i used to park it outside Park it inside my uh, nightclub entrance, so I would get in my nightclub, and this would be the car I would get get out of. And I mean, it was fun, the overall experience and everything about it. Cruising around, cruising around Los Santos in the night, going near Palito Bay. I should take this actually towards Palito Bay, have fun coming back and all. Uh, other than that, let's go to my next garage itself. This was one C. Let's go to two A. so up front 2a is uh, based on ashen martins uh and i think i have one principal over there principal devesti it is based on the uh, dubai so uh, the super the hyper car from dubai i'm not sure wait i'm not sure what, what is on 2a let's see wait i'm not sure Okay, yeah, my two A is based on Ashen Martins. The first car which you see outside is the Principal Devesti Eight, based on the Dubai-based concept hyper car, Devil Sixteen. It's one of the best cars for stunt races. I love the pink highlights and the black base of this car. It just gives out like it looks amazing. I mean, I have won stunt races on this car. It is amazing to drive around, but uh, I wouldn't say like it's it's a daily car. uh it's like mostly good for stunt races the exhaust is kind of amazing just look at the exhaust it it has it has a wider exhaust than uh, like the usual cars around here the next car is a wagner based on the 2018 ashen martin valkyrie this car has the best overall performance in gta if you can't afford a krieg or emrus i would definitely definitely recommend the wagner i won the wagner on the uh, casino podium it was one of my favorite cars like um uh, i think two months back or three months back this was one of my favorite cars i should drive this all around and it was fun but uh, you can't actually win races it depends on your luck like you can compete with emrus and krieger but usually they outrun you easily the interiors also are like spot on like the ashen martin and other cars uh, interiors are quite nice so the next car is the 770 based on the ashen martin 177 garage queen i should say the paint job i loved of this car i mean the lighting over here is not doing any justice for this paint job the paint job is amazing like if you take it out in the light i just love the paint job of this particular car the interior is again quite humble it looks nice i mean i didn't take it out much i should just take it out for maybe some car meets or something the next car is the specter is a jb700 sorry is a jb700 based on ashen martin db5 this is a james bond car however not weaponized it is fun to drive around as you see on the bonnet there are two guns but they don't make any sense because you cannot fire them this is the james bond car the actual james bond car which uh, the original james bond car i mean so this i mean good for car meets what can i say the next car is a specter custom 
based on the Ashton Martin DB10. I mean, I know the paint job is a bit wacky, but I wanted lime color on some, like I just wanted a lime color on a car. So I just chose, okay, let's do it on this. Uh, I take this around sometimes when, you know, you have some wacky car meets with colors and all. So I take this car out that time. The interior is amazing with the curves and everything inside. It's just amazing. So the next car is a Rapid GT Classic based on the 1977-1989 Ashton Martin V8 Vantage. I mean I wanted a car with flame liveries and yeah it is definitely fun to take to car meets. And the exhaust of this car is amazing. And even the hood, I, uh, I let the engine be shown outside, like to show off the engine outside I let it be like that. So, <coughs> sorry my throat is a bit bad. So other than that, I mean, I just love, I don't know why, but I love the color of this uh, 770. It's just amazing. I mean, uh, like the lighting is not doing justice over here. Like you take it outside, it has like different shades of blue. And even the principal Levishti 8, I love the liveries. Like I said, it's already getting, it's already sunset. So the next is based, next, next level is based on the Lamborghinis and two Maseratis. The first one is the Zentoro based on the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento. It reminded me of Joker's car to be honest. Uh, I love how I did the yellow highlights on the exhaust and everything. I mean, it, the car is amazing. It just stands out, makes the car look more better and definitely fun to drive around. It is a very good car. One of the first, uh, not one of the first, but yeah, it is one of the better supercars, I would say. It is fun to drive around. I like the yellow and the purple of the car. The next car is a Tesseract based on the Lamborghini Terzo Millennio. It has the highest acceleration in GTA 5. Obviously an electric car, but the top speed not that good at all. Like all ga gas cars can take over you in a race. Like first you will go like exploding ahead. Like you will be uh, you will be first and but after a few seconds or let's say after 10 or 20 seconds, people will outrun you easily. Like this car is not meant for races. The next car is the Reaper based on the Lamborghini Huracan. I won this car on the Casino Podium. This was one of my first supercars. I used to drive this a lot around Los Santos. Like this was a fun car to drive around. Back in the day, this was the Reaper was the best car that I owned and this was my actually my daily driver. I wouldn't say daily driver, but yeah, I should take this around a lot for car meets and everything else. The next car is uh, this is so oh, okay this is i'm not sure the next car is a vaca based on the based on tavrish's infamous cheap lamborghini gallardo all jokes aside it's a great great car i mean like it's a gallardo i don't know what else to say it looks nice the vocals are good the interior is like a uh, typical lambo but it is a good car i don't know what else to say about the vaca i mean it's a gallardo so let's go to the next car the next car is the Taurus based on the 2018 Lamborghini Urus. It is the fastest SUV in GTA 5 and surprisingly cheap. It is definitely, definitely not meant for off-road like it's only meant on-road like you can basically win all races in GTA 5 and the SUV class in this SUV itself but if it is on-road if you are going off-road this car is actually not meant for off-road. It is cheap by the way it's good. The next car is a Taurus is the Lamborghini Tigon based on the D Thomas P72 interesting design I would say like the windshield and everything is just amazing it's like a unique design I would say not amazing but unique design it came out with a summer DLC it is a okayish car not meant for racing more like a garage queen I would say like you can take it out for cruising or something and a fun fact you cannot throw grenades out of this car you can shoot but you cannot throw grenades all the other cars you can throw so the next car is a Komodo based on the Alfa Romero Gulica Quadrofligo. I love the livery of this car, won it on the podium, one of the be better sedan cars in the game. It is fun to drive around, I mean it was free, I got it on the casino podium so it was like it is whatever, I don't take it out much, took it out when I won it, I took it around like Los Santos for like 2 or 3 days maybe max, I don't use it anymore. I like the livery and the color how it came out. So yeah, I mean the interior also is quite nice. It's not that bad or anything. I don't know why I don't take all of, like I don't take most of the cars outside. I'm usually like tend to take only few cars which I like outside. So let's go to the next level. The next level is a bit of uh, random cars. Like 
there are few like like you see the F1 car outside Dusseldorf R88 based on the Lotus 9 97T I won it in the casino not the best formula car but can't complain about the free car this was one of my first formula cars by the way so I mean it was free it's not the best car but yeah like what can I say I got it on the casino podium I should take it around when I got it so the next car is the Ocelot Pariah based on the Ashton Martin Vanquish I don't know why I didn't park it with the uh, Ashton Martin there are few cars just jumbled up and down but this is the fastest car along with the Pifster 811 the Pifster 811 and the Pariah Ocelot are the fastest car in GTA Online so this one is based on the uh, Ashton Martin Vanquish and it is fast I mean it is really really fast um, and other than that handling is good it's it kind of has a bit more understeer other than that it's an amazing car the next one you see is a vapid click based on the 1951 shoebox Ford this is a fun vehicle to drive drive high talk and can compete in premium races other than that i made it gold like why not like i just wanted a gold plated car so i thought why not this one i didn't know what else color to do with it so i just plated it with 24 karat gold other than that it's an amazing car and the exhaust is exhaust on the sides the next car you see is a vapid click uh sorry is the bravado gauntlet classic custom based on the 1969 dodge charger daytona the torque on this car is just op the car does a wheelie every time you take off your feet from the brake it's good for drag races the interior is also amazing i mean you can customize the entire interior of this car so i just made it kind of like wood and silver out silver with the silver steering wheel other than that like it's an amazing car it's a muscle car the next car you see is a coil cyclone and is based on the Remac concept one it is an electric car moreover a garage queen like uh, electric cars in this game only i would say only one car is nice as the tesseract other than that all these other cars are like okay -ish. the interior is somewhat based on the i don't remember one of the ashton martins on top i don't remember which ashton martin it was i think it was a lime ashton martin and uh, next car you see is a coil radiant based on the tesla model s this is one of t2's favorite car he likes electric cars but uh, i would say this is a basically a garage queen the uh, roof is uh, fully glassed out and other than that i don't know i don't use these electric cars i only use the tesseract more often other than that these cars are just basically garage queens i don't know why i bought the tesla model s maybe just for a collection then the next car is the albany vista it is based on the Cadillac CTS V, one of the good cars to cruise around Los Santos. Like, this is like, it is fun to cruise around in this car. The vocals are amazing, the interiors are good. It is um, like, I don't know, it's a Cadillac. What can I say? It's just, I don't know why you purchase it, but I just did. Uh, there's no reason why. You can't use it in races, it's just for namesake. I don't know why so let's go to the next garage as you this is to see so as you see it's already dark outside i was telling all the same thing it's already now i think uh, by the time we finish the third garage will be already sunrise again so third a is basically all miscellaneous cars so i'm not sure on what order i have kept all the cars in let's see how it goes so let's see what is the first car i'm not sure i forget every time so okay the first car is uh okay yeah it's the sultan rs so this car is based on multiple cars like there are multiple cars designs which have gone into this car it is one of the best cars this was one of the best cars in gta 4 i mean i have kind of a love hate relationship with this car like i like this sometimes i hate it the other times it's not meant for racing I mean you can say it is meant for racing but as you see you can customize everything in the interior I put a reaper on the dash to remind me this car is op this car was op in gta 4 here also it is op but it is okay -ish. like i take it around like for car meets and all the next car you see is the penumbra ff penumbra ff is based on the mitsubishi eclipse fun car to drive around like this car is perfectly balanced top speed performance overall is just amazing i just wanted an anime car so i made it pink with uh, i'm not sure what flowers are these uh, i forgot the name of this livery it had a nice name the interior is also customizable 
इट इज नो दिस इज नॉट अ बेनीस का द सुल्तान द सुल्तान आर एस इज अ बेनीस का लाइक इट कैन बी कम्प्लीटली कस्टमाइज एंड आई मेड एवरी थिंग पिंक इन साइड इवन द इंटीरियर्स एंड द बाज एवरी थिंग आर पिंक एंड द नेक्स्ट का यू सी इज अ बैंशी नाइन नाइन हंड्रेड आर आई मीन इट्स अ बैंशी मोर ऑफ इट्स अ बैंशी लाइक मोर ओवर द बेनीज बैंशी डिसाइडेड आई डिसाइडेड टू गो टॉपलेस एंड इट काइंड like i have one few races with this and i don't know i just like the design it's red it's white and it's a bit buffed up and uh, i don't know is like what to say about this it's just a banshee like everyone likes a banshee in gta 5 even in gta 4 people always loved a banshee interior is amazing the speed is nice talk is nice everything is wonderful about this car so the next car you see is a elegy retro custom is based on the nissan skyline gtr i try to make it like Uh, the too fast too furious paul walker's car i mean i tried like i legitly tried but i didn't uh i didn't put in like i didn't i wasn't sure like what else to do and everything else and then i just gave up because i had like a uh, planes and all to customize so maybe in another video i'll show about all the uh planes in my hangar which i have so the next car right now you see is the obey omnis which is based on multiple cars moreover the audi quattro it is one of the best rally cars in the game fun to take it around mount mount chiliad and then just jump over from mount chiliad the interiors are like it's a rally car it's like a rally interior rally car interior and it is fun maybe in the next video i'll uh, review all the planes which i have in the hangar and uh, like more over it's okay it's like a it's a rally car i don't know what much to say about it like it's fun to take it around mount chiliad like the mountains and all so the next car you see is a dinky sigoy is based on the honda civic type r fk8 won it on the casino podium never used it much garage queen for sure like i must have taken it once or twice max other than that like not much the customization options for this car is amazing interior is quite good on the mark and livery is also quite nice but i didn't actually put much effort into this the elegy retro custom that, that is a skyline I actually put in the efforts to try to make it look like uh, paul walker's car but uh, i just gave up like didn't think much about it so 3b sort of rare semi rare cars the uh, first you see is a d classy to- tornado based on the 1957 chevrolet bel air you see uh, guitars and mari- mariachi hats in the back seat this is a very rare car not a very rare i would say it's hard to spawn that's what i can say like not much people know about this car this car is not purchasable uh and other than that it's like uh, you cannot customize also this car and the next car is a hearse so there's a there's a bit mystery about this car there's a small surprise which we'll see right now so the small surprise is there's a dead body behind this car this is undertaker's car the actual undertaker's car so there's a dead body behind it and you know it's fun to take it around in uh, uh like car meets and people get like it's a conversation uh, piece people keep laughing like how did you do that so the next car is the phoenix based on the pontiac firebird this is one of the semi rare cars that you can spawn you cannot purchase this car it needs to be spawned in person and the spawn rate is very low for this car so let's get inside and check each cars so this one uh, is you cannot customize anything as you see the radio and everything is out so this is based on the 1957 chevrolet bel air it is a special it is a special car because of the guitars and mariachi hats in the back seat it is based on the movie Thelma and Louis 1991 they drive it off the cliff so in actual in GTA also to find this car you have to go to Mount Chiliad in a certain location at a certain time so there are these two females who drive try to drive off this car off the cliff drive this car off the cliff so you have to snipe these two females and steal this car to get it in your garage so the next car is the hearse it is undertaker's car and the best thing about this car is there's a dead body behind in the back lol i stole it from uh like someone's funeral there was there was someone's funeral at some graveyard i stole and it's an actual dead body uh it's an actual dead body in the casket behind so and this one is the phoenix based on the pontiac firebird this car is like uh this car is like mariachi tornado is not purchasable you need to find it in game and it is like it is very hard to spawn it 
like you need another phoenix to spawn this phoenix so it's a bit hard to spawn it as you as you understand so the next level is based on armored and weaponized car the first you see is the armored karuma this is based on the mitsubishi lancer evolution x and by far this is the best armored car to use to finish missions like npcs cannot shoot you through this window no cops no npcs can shoot you obviously real like uh, real players can shoot you and the bad part of this is that it can explode in an ex in a single explosive shot like if you shoot one rpg this car explodes easily even with a sticky bomb it takes only one sticky bomb to explode this car the next car you see is a duco that based on the dodge charger it can take like two explosive it can take like two sticky bombs two rpgs but to like npcs can kind of shoot you through this it is fun like the handling it's a muscle car the handling is a bit off other than that it's like fun like uh like what should i say about this it's fun to have it like around like it's the replacement for sort of a replacement for the karuma but not a entire replacement it is fun to take it around but it uh, like you the npcs can shoot you through windows the karuma is a bit op like they cannot shoot you through windows outside the interior also is okay -ish. better than the karuma the interiors at least the next car you see the vapid apocalypse dominator i tried to make it identical to frankenstein's car from death race it has 50 caliber machine gun attached to his hood and as you guessed it there is a tombstone on the back it's called a tombstone uh it's like a metal slab you can throw it while racing or while uh, cops are chasing when just throw it and the cops will explode as it like when it when there's a contact between the tombstone and the cops cop cars the cop cars explode basically the interiors are a bit rusty i made it uh, uh kept it like that so next car you see is a night shark based on the darts combat and is one of the highest armored cars it takes several explosives to destroy this car like i'm not sure how many explosive but uh, like if you are scared about uh, mark mark 2s oppressor mark 2s this car can take a lot of missiles from oppressor mark 2s and still stand out so i chose the non armored windows because you can throw explosive outside and the next car you see is the yosemite rancher based on the chevrolet c10 one of the best off road cars and can easily climb vertically on cliffs and mountains it takes uh it is for benny's car i mean you can customize it completely as you see like i kept it kept it a bit wacky the interiors also i kept a, a reaper to remind me like you know even this car can explode as a drum behind with oil so if i decide to go all out sticky bomb just put sticky bombs in my car and suicide bomb someone so this was the last floor as you see i told you it's going to sunrise almost sunrise i would say not sunrise but almost sunrise so if you want to watch maybe my hangar my planes in the hangar so subscribe to be around and see more videos i also can uh, show you my weaponized uh, vehicles like my tank my uh, uh, stromberg stromberg is like the james bond underwater car and all that if you want to see all that please uh, comment below deeper. see this trick got scared my assistant got scared that i just rushed in and other than that that's it maybe let's see i'll make another video very soon about uh, even my arcade all the uh, games i have in my arcade and everything else so subscribe like my video and comment below if you want uh, 